Tracking in-person event activity in HubSpot is one of the hardest things that any event marketer will do. I'm going to show you two different ways that you can use HubSpot custom events to track in-person event attendance. To get to custom events in HubSpot, you're going to go to reporting, data management, and click on custom events. Once here, you can see a list of custom events that you've already set up, or you can create a new event. The first way I'm going to show you involves importing a spreadsheet of activities that you have captured offline. So a good example of this would be if you're hosting an event and you have a list of attendees, you can upload that list of attendees as a custom event in order to show on all of those contacts timelines that they attended that event. When creating a custom event, you're given four options. You can use a visualizer, which allows you to select different elements on your website. You can import a spreadsheet, which is the one we're gonna be focusing on first. You can add custom JavaScript to your website or web app, or you can send custom events via API. We're gonna focus on importing a spreadsheet. To create your event, you're gonna enter some basic information, I've put here attended event, which I know seems kind of general if we're talking about attendance of a specific event, but you are limited to the number of custom events you can create. I think you can only create 500 of them. So we are going to narrow down into specific events using custom event properties, which I'll show you in a minute. Next, you are presented with a file upload page. So let me take us over to the spreadsheet that I've put together. This spreadsheet is a list of attendees of the event. So literally all of the information we need is some way to deduplicate the contacts. In this case, I'm using their email address, but you could also use their HubSpot record ID if you're basing it on an export or any other property that is unique to each contact. Next, we have event name. So this is what I was talking about before where we are having a broad event definition, which is attended event. And then we're using a custom property called event name to specify which event they attended. And then lastly, this is required for every type of custom event is this occurred at. So this is a date. You can get more granular and add times to this as well. And it will keep track of that in HubSpot. So we're gonna select this file and upload. This screen probably looks pretty familiar. If you've ever done a contact import into HubSpot, it's basically the same thing, except this is using contact properties and custom event properties. So you can see here, it already knows that email is a contact property, but if it didn't, then we could select contact properties, find the right property, and then map it that way. The event name, it also recognizes as a custom event property if you need to create a new one do that and then create a new property. And then lastly, occurred at is the date that the event happened. Make sure you select your legal basis for processing contact data and the format of your date property. And then lastly, if you want to set these contacts as marketing contacts, you can do that here. Now that we've completed that upload, you can see an entire list of contacts who attended that event. So if we click on one of them, you can see this is the custom event. You can see Sarah Perez has attended event. If we click on this, you can see the name of the event, the, that A8 happy hour. So this is how it's gonna show up. It's just gonna be within your activity feed next to other things like lifecycle stage updates or website page views. Next, I wanna talk about a more automated and integrated way to approach in-person event tracking within HubSpot. For this, I've created a custom object within HubSpot for event tickets. So this is every unique ticket that you are giving to your contacts is gonna have a record as an event ticket. Those can be associated to the contacts that they are given to or that purchase them you can see here, Paul Jones purchased this one. And then we've got some additional information like the event name, the start date, end date. You can add whatever you want here, but up here is something really interesting. So we've got a QR code that's a link to an image as well as this redeemed checkbox that can be yes or no. So if we click on this image, you can see it's an automatically generated QR code. To generate these QR codes, you're gonna need to integrate HubSpot with some kind of QR code or event platform. So next up, you're gonna send this QR code to your contact, whether they bought a ticket or you're just giving these away. 
You can see here a preview of an email I created. This is going to Paul Jones, who was the contact associated with this ticket. And we're just saying, hey, thanks for registering. This QR code is your ticket. When you get there, scan it, that kind of thing. Because we have QR code in a property here, we can make it populate dynamically using personalization tokens so that each person is going to get their unique QR code for their ticket. Once Paul gets to the event, he can scan in using this QR code, and then that will trigger a custom event via API. And you can see here that Paul Jones completed the attended event you can see the name of the event. You can add as much additional information as custom event properties here. So that was a really high level overview of how you can use HubSpot's custom events for in-person event management. We haven't even touched on how you could use these events to trigger automation, to do segmentation for your marketing, or any number of different activities that your go-to-market team might want to use this data for. But for now, we're going to leave it at that. So if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about how to run in-person event management at HubSpot, feel free to hit me up on LinkedIn.